three feet away from the microphone. About a foot and a half away from the microphone. Six inches away from the microphone. Right on top of the microphone. About three feet away from the microphone. About a foot and a half away from the microphone. Six inches away from the microphone. Right on top of the microphone. Hey everybody, this is David Dugdale, LearningDSLRVideo.com, and as you just saw, I finally learned how to disable the AGC for my Canon T2i 550D with the Rode video mic. So I ran across this video by Mike B um, at IamMikeB.com, and he explained how to disable the uh, AGC on the Canon T2i 550 and the 7D as well, but it didn't work with the Rode video mic. I looked at his comments uh, below the video on his YouTube video and a lot of other people were having the same issue. They couldn't figure out how to disable it using the Rode video mic as well. I made three trips to Radio Shack, bought a whole bunch of adapters and uh, like this one, don't want to buy this one. The stereo version, the mono version, none of those work. Um, but I was able to finally figure out how to do it because I didn't want to go out and buy a Juice Link or a Zoom H4n. I like to keep things simple and cheap. Perhaps someday Canon will update the firmware on the Canon T2i, maybe the 7D, but I don't want to wait and I'd like to have some clean audio because audio is pretty much 50% of your presentation when you do a video. Um, I know we always think about the video portion, but Audio has a lot to do with it as well, and if, if you have poor audio, and it really screams amateur, so I'm trying to take it to the next level. So the problem is Canon really didn't design a very good AGC. It's not sophisticated at all. In fact, it's actually quite poor, and in my opinion, they should just leave it off altogether, as you probably witnessed in my uh, demonstration at the beginning of this video. So what basically happens is if you talk really loud, it clamps down the AGC gets clamped down and it eliminates the hiss. And then when you stop talking, about a second later, it only takes a second, I've timed it, where the noise ramps right back up again. So what we wanna do is keep that AGC clamped down all the time. So to do this, I took a old MP3 that was gathering dust, installed a one hour, 19 kilohertz um, tone, sine wave tone, on the mp3 player, adjusted the volume just right, and injected into the right channel, and in the left channel I put the Rode video mic, and I had to create a special adapter to do this, um, which I'll we'll get to how to wire it up in the next video after this one. And what Mike B found out is that the automatic gain control happens on both channels at the same time in tandem. So if you make a loud noise in the right channel, it's also going to bring down the left channel as well. And that's how this, this hack works really well. So what really screwed, up, screwed me up was these Radio Shack adapters um, that Mike B was talking about. I bought the, the mono, uh, dual mono input, I bought the stereo input, none of those work. And so I finally got my multimeter out and uh, pinned, pinned out the how these are wired inside because you know Radio Shack doesn't give you a schematic on how this is wired which is a shame it should at least have it on the website if not on the back of the carton like none of these cartons have diagrams it really stinks so I ended up having to pin it out and that still didn't solve the problems so what I ended up doing is putting a alligator clips on the actual from the microphone to the camera and I just kept playing around with it and trying to figure out which um, conductors were really needed so basically what it ended up is the Rode microphone was not wired the way I thought it should be. Normally in a, like a professional microphone, all you need is the, the high and the low or the tip and the ring. Um, you don't need the sleeve. The sleeve is usually the shield. Um, that's not the case with the Rode video mic. You need the shield. And in another video I'll do right after this one, I'll show you actually how I wired it up exactly. And it only costs just a few bucks of connectors and a little bit of solder, a little bit of know-how to 
solder it up and you can create one of these cables your, yourself. So basically in Sony Vegas, all you need to do, uh, or, your, or whatever non-linear non -linear editor that you use, all you have to do is take the uh, right click on the audio track, go down to channel and then left only, and then voila, you get rid of the right channel and all you've got is the left channel is and that's the Rode video mic. So I created this one hour, 19 kilohertz tone and I'll put it up my website so you can actually download it. And in the next video, I'll describe in detail on how exactly I wired up this adapter. All right, see you guys later. Thanks, bye.